Hello and welcome to this course on Advanced Cyber Threat and Incident Management. I'm Professor Wool and this lesson will discuss bringing reachability analysis into incident response. In a previous lesson, we talked about uh, the general incident response process, how information flows into the uh, security information and event management system, the SIEM, and how the people in the SOC review the incidents and take action. Um, and how bringing business context into this process makes decision making much better. Today we'll talk about a different aspect of incident response and this is identifying how severe is the incident. So when the SOC people look at the information available to them, there's clear evidence of certain things going on, uh, malicious actions taken by the software or the person connected to the infected system, uh, but that's not all we need to know in order to identify how severe the threat really is. And if we want to enrich our understanding of the severity of the threat, one system or tool that we can use is traffic simulation to try to understand what types of traffic can emanate from the infected server or reach the infected server from various other systems in, in the world um, based on the patterns of connectivity that are allowed by the network, the routing, and the firewalls surrounding the system, we can identify whether the, this threat is a high threat, a critical threat, or a mid-level mid threat, etc. So how would we do this? Well, here are a few examples. If we take the infected server's IP address and check whether it has access out towards addresses in the internet, uh, if it do does, then this system could be used to access the command and control center of the adversary. It could be used to participate in spam campaigns if it can send out un, uh, uh, unfiltered email. Uh, it could participate in DDoS activities, basically trying to disrupt activity on other systems outside of our organization. Uh, it could even be used to exfiltrate data from our organization, um, stolen information and, and send it out towards uh, systems controlled by the attacker. So full outbound access or unlimited outbound access is something that uh, elevates the severity of a, th a threat. What about internal access? Well, we could use the same capability of traffic simulation through which we can check what the internal filtering uh, is allowing to see what type of access the infected system has to other more sensitive areas of our internal network. For instance, if we have a, an area of servers and systems that store credit card data, PCI zone, if the infected system has access to the PCI zone, then it can, it can steal sensitive information. Uh, likewise, if it can access servers that contain personally identifiable information, then uh, again that is sensitive and that having access to such information could, um, could lead to compliance violations. So we need to report on if a server that is infected has access to uh, systems that store uh, um, account numbers and uh, social security numbers, other pieces of personal data uh, we would have to re uh, report to the authorities that this incident is affecting such systems. So again, this elevates the severity of a particular threat. The, the other direction is also as important if, uh, we are, if the attacker can take information from these sensitive servers and push them into the server we're looking at right now, then maybe, you can, maybe this system can, can function as a stepping stone for traffic and for sensitive information being exfiltrated out toward the internet. So a combination of access from a uh, secure, security sensitive area to or from the system that is currently being investigated in combination with broad access outbound would make an even more severe system uh, uh, incident. So what we can see from all of this is once we've identified a system that's being uh, uh, infected or owned by the attackers, doing an investigation of, through traffic simulation of what reach 
the attacker has from and to that system, both to external IP addresses and to sensitive internal systems, gives us a much better picture of the severity of the incident and helps us make better decisions when we're deciding on how to remediate. Thank you for your attention.